Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. First reported in Wuhan, China on December 31st, 2019. The novel coronavirus is a highly contagious disease that targets the upper respiratory cells and cells in the gastrointestinal tract. Initially called NCOV and later identified as COVID-19 strain, the disease spreads easily from person to person through contact within six feet. With China as the epicenter, the coronavirus outbreak has spread to many countries worldwide since then, with cases being recorded throughout different parts of the globe. The fear of the unknown and the quick transmission of the disease has caused much global panic. In situations like this, the first step to staying safe is being informed. Watch out for the latest official data, symptoms, facts versus myths, and the essentials for coronavirus prevention. The coronavirus got its name for its distinct crown shape under a microscope. Coronavirus refers to a family of viruses with seven known strains, including this current outbreak of the novel coronavirus or the COVID-19 strain. The most prominent coronavirus symptoms are respiratory. Identifying novel coronavirus can be tricky, since its symptoms are very similar to the common cold or flu. A telltale sign of novel coronavirus is difficulty breathing or shortness of breath. However, it's imperative that you get tested if you feel particularly off for prolonged periods to know for sure and prevent potentially spreading the disease. In severe cases, the disease can cause complications such as pneumonia, kidney failure, severe acute respiratory syndrome, and death. Coronavirus spreads through respiratory droplets. Despite first reports, the disease is not airborne. Instead, respiratory droplets like saliva from a sneeze or cough are the primary transmitter of the virus. You can also contract the disease from touching contaminated objects or surfaces, then touching the eyes or mouth after, although it's not the main way the disease spreads. This is why the World Health Organization emphasizes constant sanitation, refraining from touching one's face and avoiding close contact as much as possible. It is advisable to avoid close contact with people who are showing symptoms. For the novel coronavirus, infected people are the most contagious when they are symptomatic or more sick. It's recommended to sneeze or cough into tissues, properly cooking eggs and meat, and washing or sanitizing your hands regularly. The coronavirus is sensitive to heat. Ultraviolet light, non-ionic detergents, liquid solvents, and oxidizing agents can help kill the virus. Moreover, higher temperatures or increased levels of relative humidity also decrease viability or chances of the virus thriving. This disproves the belief that cold or snow would kill the virus. And take note, it's not advisable for humans to bask in UV light, since it's harmful to the skin. You should only wear face masks if you have a cold or are showing symptoms. Although you'd probably feel more secure wearing a mask, the World Health Organization does not advise well people to wear masks. Instead, the masks should be for symptomatic people and health workers, or people caring for the sick in close quarters. Sanitation is key to preventing novel coronavirus. The World Health Organization recommends hand-washing with soap and water for 20 seconds, to avoid contracting and spreading the disease. For alcohol-based cleaning solutions, at least 60% alcohol is recommended. People with colds are also advised to sneeze or cough into disposable tissues to avoid spreading viruses through clothing or hands. Novel coronavirus affects all ages. Contrary to previous claims, the novel coronavirus doesn't only target children and the elderly but people of all ages are susceptible to the disease and should exercise caution. The novel coronavirus cannot be treated with antibiotics. Antibiotics only work on bacteria, not viruses. The novel coronavirus cannot be transmitted through exported goods. The COVID-19 virus can stay on surfaces between a few hours and several days. However, it is highly unlikely that the virus will survive after being moved transported, and exposed to different temperatures. However, it is still best to disinfect any package with alcohol-based solution. COVID-19 cannot be transmitted by mosquitoes. 
COVID-19 is a respiratory virus and cannot be spread through the bloodstream. Hoarding masks and disinfectants is counterproductive. Since most people are panic buying, it's caused shortages in resources for medical workers. In fact, WHO had to provide 11,000 goggles, 47,000 N95 masks, 72,000 gowns, 584,000 surgical masks, and 620,000 gloves to 57 countries from the onset of the outbreak. COVID-19 lab tests have been distributed to 120 countries. The World Health Organization distributed these lab tests to help the study and facilitation of the virus throughout the globe. Italy is currently on emergency lockdown. Italy's Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte announced the emergency lockdown for the entire country on March 9, 2020, to prevent further spread of the virus. The US government issued a traffic advisory at level 4 for the COVID-19. The World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public health emergency and an international concern. Government officials advise residents not to travel to China. Airlines from all over the world impose travel bans to contain the spread of the COVID-19 from Wuhan. Various Asian, European, and North American airlines canceled flights to China. Some of the institutions on the list are Air Asia, Air India, American Airlines, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Finnair, Indigo, Lufthansa, and United Airlines. Some airlines lessened or completely stopped flights to China entirely. You can't catch COVID-19 from your pets. Currently, there has been no evidence of pets being potential carriers of the COVID-19 virus. However, it's still best to sanitize after handling them. WHO also advises against contact with livestock or other wild animals. WHO has officially declared COVID-19 as a pandemic. As of March 12, 2020, due to the alarming rate of spread and severity, WHO has declared the coronavirus as a pandemic. In times of a health crisis, disinformation is deadlier than any virus. Knowing what to do and what to avoid can keep you and your loved ones safe. So it's important to keep monitoring the news and believe only credible sources such as official agencies. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.